Okay, here's a step-by-step -step on how to transcribe a speech recording in Prod, one that you have already as a file on your computer. I just open Prod, close the picture window, hit the open button, read from file, and find your sound file. I'm going to use the, the long one that Per Jensen made in 1985 or 87. With the sound file highlighted, I'm going to click Annotate to Text Grid. We get this message window. And what we do here is always the same. We write in here speaker. And just because we haven't done it this way yet, I'm going to also write interviewer. That means we're making two tiers one for what the speaker says, one for what the interviewer says. Um, I told several of you that you don't have to transcribe the interviewer, and that's, of course, always an option. But just for completeness' sake, let's transcribe a little bit of the interviewer today. Okay, the second box is going to stay empty in the sound to info window, and then we hit OK. Now we have created an empty text grid that has the correct length to match the sound file. And when we highlight both of them, just drag across with your mouse. That's the way to highlight both of them. Once you've done that, hit um, View and Edit in Prot. And this is the interface where you can transcribe. I'm going to start transcribing now. So I have here, I have my speaker tier, the label is at the right, and the interviewer tier. It looks like I wrote interview instead of interviewer. Uh, better luck next time, I guess. Uh, highlight the tier where you're going to be transcribing. This beginning of the recording is empty. There is no valuable speech. The first question starts here. So that's where I'll start this stretch this interviewer speech. I'm going to listen to it by hitting tab. What have you been doing up to now as far as your speech is concerned? All right. And that's the beginning and end of his question. So first of all, I need the boundaries. Boundaries are always first. I've got the co correct segment highlighted. When you have an interval highlighted, you can just hit return. And that gives you the boundaries. And you click into the interval you made so that it's yellow and you start typing. Type into the yellow part. What have you been doing up to as your speech is concerned? So now comes the answer. Uh, we're going to switch to the speaker tier. I'm just going to put one boundary right here because I know she's going to start there. And then I'm going to check to see if I can find the end of her segment. My grandparents are, my grandfather is from Mexico. My grandmother, I believe, was born in the States. And That's a little too long. So I'm going to put an intermediate uh, interval here. How about here? This would be good. Enter. Click into the interval and listen with tab. Okay, well, I grew up in San Antonio, uh, the northeast part of town. My parents are... Okay, so next, I'm just going to visually select a boundary that gives me a roughly same-sized interval. I hit enter to set the interval. Click into the bit that I'll be transcribing. Uh, Hispanic. My grandparents are, my grandfather is from Mexico. Uh, Hispanic, my grandparents are. Uh, Hispanic, my grandparents are. Uh, Hispanic, my grandparents are, my grandfather is from Mexico. From Mexico. Again, next, I'll set an interval that's roughly a similar size. Click in the interval. My grandmother, I believe, was born in the States. And that's basically it, just a Hispanic background. Okay. And so you keep trucking along and transcribing. Uh, something to know that is 
um, really helpful. So I'm currently on a Mac. When I put two fingers on my trackpad, I, that's how I move left and right. When we were working in the lab, it wasn't so easy to, to pan left and right. Last resort, what always works is to use the zoom functions. So zooming. Um, there are buttons at the bottom of the window for out and in. All is very useful. Click all and it shows you the entire length of the recording. See, we have a very long one. But you know, if you want to, if you know you're going to continue working down here, just highlight like the global area, the broad area where you know you're going to be working. That's now highlighted. And use the SEL button that means zoom to selection, SEL. So now I'm in the general area and I can get oriented, find the next point where I'm going to be transcribing. And um, I might use the in function or do another one where I zoom over a selection and choose SEL. And now, you know, this is nice and close. Now I can do my select the tier, set a boundary, and mm -hmm. click in here and transcribe. So the zoom buttons are quite important. The all button for everything, the SEL for selection, in and out is self evident. Back is good, that gives you the previous view. So uh, get used to those. All right. If you're done transcribing, close the editor window and be sure to save your work. Click only your text grid and then hit save in the objects palette here and the prot objects window. Only the text grid and hit save. And you're going to say save as chronological text file. We're going to, I'm just going to put it on my desktop there. That's good. Those are the basics of transcribing and producing a text grid that you will need in the next step.